peeps I'm in New York again and this time I'm going to a private movie screening which I'm about to go to any minute currently I'm in Bryant Park which is this beautiful little park right here a little outdoor cafe tons of green grass to sit and there's a carousel over there So much it's one of my favorite cities there's just so much going on here that i feel like you'll never get bored of it always do something that scares you as often as possible. I didn't want to have those birds like that close to me, but it was kind of cool. I'm glad I did it. They didn't hurt me either. I thought they were going to bite my hand off, but they literally took teeny little pieces perfectly without biting me. Oh, typical me. I was so busy filming Bryant Park that I lost track of time. And now it's like the screening is supposed to start right now. And I thought I knew where the building is and I was wrong. This is probably it, I hope. This is it. Oh my God, that was the wrong way. Someone gave me the wrong directions. Ugh. And I hate maps. They're Hold so up. confusing sometimes. I can't find it. Okay, I found it. It's inside a hotel. Ah! Elevator's shutting on me. It's inside a hotel and apparently this is one of the most romantic hotels. Obviously, yeah, so I cannot it's film the movie. Yeah. It's never been released before. I'm seeing it before it's in theaters. So I guess this is what a private screening room looks like. And they give you some popcorn. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I just happened to be walking and I found this beautiful cathedral. I've seen it a long time ago. And I know I wanted to film it, but I never got a chance to. I don't think so. I freaking love this one so much. Actually, I noticed that the door is open, so I'm gonna see if I can go inside. Wow, so beautiful. I'm not gonna say that, actually. Can't say what I was about to say, but it's so pretty. everywhere it's a really pretty area and I'm gonna go to the top of the rock which is one of these really tall buildings and when I'm up there I'll be able to see the whole skyline of New York and I'm really excited because you guys all know how much I love rooftoping and stuff like that all right I found it I'm about to enter the top of the rock going up I don't even know how many floors this is this is cool I can't believe I've never done this all the times I've been in New York I've never done this there's an upper deck so I can go even higher. When I first got out here, I was just looking and I'm like, man, I gotta figure out how to get higher. And I'm like, oh my God, you're allowed to go higher. You guys know I always love to go as high as I can on a rooftop. So that's what I'm gonna do. Being on top of a roof in New York is so different than being on top of a roof in Philly because it's so much bigger here. There's so many buildings. I really wanna know what this building is. That's like the tallest one that I can see. 
probably like over a hundred stories high. It's taller than all of these. I gotta find out what this is. So I just asked somebody, that is a residential building. Dude, can you imagine what the view would be like if you lived there? That's insane. <laughs> or something and her dress is stunning. She looks so pretty. Aww. Okay guys. <laughs> Low key, like everybody that's walking by is so interested in my time lapse. They're all staring at it. I don't know why. Like it's just a camera. Look at the view behind it. More interested souls looking deep beneath into the eyes of my camera lens. Interesting, huh? It's so interesting. In front of us. <laughs> oh my god, I've been filming this time lapse for an hour. Hour. I didn't realize that this was rolling for an hour straight. It's so beautiful up here though. Like I can sit here for hours obviously and not even like notice it. It's so relaxing. Oh my god, there's Dietrich. Dietrich is on the screen and New York is on the screen. Oh my god, that was so cool. Oh, oh look, he's still there. Oh my god, this is so cool. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh my god. I see you with Dashi and everything on YouTube. Yeah. Wow. Something came over me and I feel so tired right now. All of a sudden, I'm just like so beat. You know what, actually, maybe it's because for one, I haven't taken a cab or a subway the entire time I've been here. I literally walked everywhere I went and I walked tons of blocks and I have tons of camera equipment in my bag, so it's kind of heavy. Yeah, it's been a long day. I'm gonna head to the train station right now. I've always wanted to live in New York at some point in my life and I sometimes wonder, will that actually ever happen? I mean, I did live here for about a month when we were filming Prank Academy. What I love about New York is that it's the city that never sleeps. Everything is open all the time and I love that because I'm always Best awake. Peanuts. Ooh! <gasps> I love these things. Can I have some peanuts, please? Alright, if you guys already know, I would say I'm, I'm a semi-germaphobe in a sense. As gross as it kind of is, I will always get the roasted peanuts off of a cart in the city because they smell so good and they're, they taste so good. So if you've never tried them and you're here in New York, you gotta try them. <laughs> I'm on the train. I literally had to run so I can make this train. I'm headed home. I'll see you guys soon. I love you. Good night. Peace on the street.